Welcome back, everybody, to Kicking It in the Second Half, Kish YZ, IMD. I'm back again with my co-host, Hugh. What up, Hugh? Yo, what's going on? And tonight, we got episode 19. And Hugh, you know, I think a lot of times people forget to mention uh, this type of group of people or players in the league as far as what they can do. We see a lot of three-pointers made, and I think a lot of the culture has shifted to that. That might be more so your generation, but let's talk about the dunkers, man. Let's, let's, I mean, for me, dunkers just, man, they just, they just get me going, man. I just draw to that type of player. If they can be explosive at the rim and just, just cram it down on somebody. I mean, I remember the days back of, you know, watching Kobe and like T-Mac, bro, like T-Mac was just insane to me. And I, I think we need to do the dunkers. I don't even think we've touched on this much at all. Maybe just mention some dunkers when it came to the uh, all-star game for all-star week this past year. But outside of that, we don't even really talk about dunks, bro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, definitely a um, underrated uh, part of people's games, I would say. But first, if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, and uh, shout out to uh, KD. Uh, we appreciate your comment on uh, the What If video. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the comment video. And also, yeah, give us a sub if you like watching any of our videos. If you're revisiting this video or another video and you like what you see, please give us a sub and turn your notification bell on to hear more from us when we drop new videos. Also, check us, check us out on um, anchor.fm, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, and Spotify if you want the audio-only version of these podcasts. And also keep it here on our YouTube channel Kish YZ for our other videos where we do a, a D Daily, Hugh Weekly, and also we have a shoe segment. And now we're starting off with the What If segment. Uh, we've got one episode of that, and we're, we're hoping to do more of those as well. And also, if you want to follow us, you know, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram under Kish YZ, K I S H underscore YZ. So, Hugh, man, I, I just got to ask you, bro, what kind of dunks, like, what kind of dunks do you get excited about? Do you like posterizing dunks? Do you like dunks that are like unexpected, like someone comes out of nowhere and, and they just cram it on somebody or they're just in a lane and it looks like they're going to do a layup and then it, it turns into a dunk? Or you just like these big leapers? Like I'm talking like, okay, they're throwing up a lob, like maybe a player like Derek Jones Jr. And he's just coming in and you know it's going to be, you know it's going to be hard and heavy. Like he's just going to out jump whoever's on him, like move out the way, like, are there anything in particular that stands out to you as far as what you'd like to see in a great dunk, or are you just like the total surprise regardless of what kind of dunk it is? I mean, I appreciate all dunks, but if, if I had to pick one, I think it would definitely be uh, the poster dunks. I mean, I just think it's extremely disrespectful, you know, when you just jump right over a guy who's trying to block you and just throw the ball down right down on him. So, yeah, I mean, uh, while all dunks, you know, uh, you know, I like the unexpected ones and the guys who, you know, like the guards who can just, go up looks like their heads you know above the um the whole backboard uh yeah no those type of guys all that's exciting but yeah I just I love personally watching guys uh be dunked on I have to say I like um I, I definitely like those dunks I like all dunks I like the breakaway dunks like either on a fast break or just off from the three-point line and you come through especially if you're like a, a heavy hitter dunker and people move out the way because they just don't yeah. want to be in the first know. I, I, they know. I love those dunks because they just – that means that that dunker at that time, when they took off, they had it in their eye and other players on the defense was aware, like, I know what's happening. No, thank you. Like, yeah. but then sometimes that if doesn't – You know, you know. Dunks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I love it too. You know, you see a guy just driving in and it's like a guy turns around, looks at and just moves out the way. Don't even try to get in the way. They know it was best for him. Let me also ask you this, who do you like the dunks where people miss, you know, like the shack and the fools? They're the funny. That? Like where They're they go funny. to cram it and it just hits the back of the cylinder. The, it's which funny having the James happen to, I saw it happen to James Waxman recently, but yeah. <laughs> which one's funnier when it hits the inside of the cylinder and bounces out hard or when they get like rim stuffed, like they barely try to get the, the ball in and it just hits the front of the rim. Oh, I would definitely have to say back of the rim. Because they look like they're about to throw funny. down the hardest slam they've ever went. And the thing just goes flying basically all the way up to the ceiling. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I think those are funnier. 
those front of the rim dunks when they because because the, the front of the rims mainly the front of the rims mainly are lack of effort. You know, you didn't get up high enough, you didn't get the ball high enough. But it's like it's you get too hard back, you're like, man, I'm going. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because that's what it's, it's like a player that I, I think it's funny because it's like a player that you definitely expect to do it. And it's like, well, what are you doing? Just, you got to get up with that thing. Like, at that point, I just like, you just used the glass. You should have just did a layup <laughs> if you're going to yeah, do a lack of real. effort like that. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, to start this uh, podcast off, we were going to do a list of guards and forwards. So, Hugh, we got five, five of each. Like I said, we're going to do guards first. So you want to go back and forth with this? Let's do it. Okay, I don't think we did a particular order. I think Hugh, you might have, and I had discussed before. I wasn't going to do it in order, but I mean, maybe I could do a little suspenseful build up. I don't think it's a, a huge amount of suspense. So I basically just did what I guess what I would consider like my top five being my fave fives. So not necessarily in any particular order, but just five. Yeah, yeah, and I understand that. I mean, I wrote them all down at the end, and I was like, at, like at the bottom, but I was like, you know what? I want to try to, to at least uh, put them in my top five. But yeah, mine's probably my favorite. Mine's probably my favorite five to watch. Dunk is probably probably so. So it should be pretty close, I think. Let me go ahead and ask you this before we get into it: Are Let's all your favorite it. dunkers are they all guards, in particular? I mean, I know you did a, a forwards list as well, but are you leaning more towards the guards overall? Bro, I mean, my bag. forwards, my forwards probably, notes. my forwards probably have bigger names to be honest. Probably the more popular Don't worry guys. About the names. I mean, what's, the your, guards, what's your, what's I just, your preference? I mean, I just love seeing a guard. You know, a guy who can just is, you know, known probably known for making a lot of threes and shooting outside shots, just drive and elevate. So, uh, guards are probably would probably be my favorite favorite to watch. I just like how the the hops that a lot of them have. The sports usually have a lot of size, but the guards usually have a lot of hops. You know what I mean? I understand that. Let me start this thing off you because I got somebody on my list that might not be on your list. And I was kind of hesitating because when I was filling in the list, like, like I said, I didn't do it in an order, but he was like my fifth one. And I was trying to figure out if I wanted him on there or somebody else. Let me start off. I put Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier. Do you have him on your list? Charlotte. Nope. Oh, what is that called? Is that is this considered a goldfish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Terry Rozier. I'll tell you what, Omar. just because he's he's just somebody. When I see him, actually, I don't think of a dunker. But I, you know, if you saw the highlight of him dunking over Kevin Durant, that's why I put him on the list. You remember oh, yeah, that, don't you? That. you? Remember that, that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing that. All right, give me one. Give me one. So my my fifth my fifth guy that I have written down uh, is a rookie. Uh, actually, probably the front runner for a year, rookie of the year right now, and that is Anthony Edwards with the Minnesota Timberwolves. I love oh, that young bro. man's hops. That boy's trying to dunk it on, on uh, everybody gets in his way right now. I got him on my list. He was my next one. Yeah, yeah. It, is that what you like about it? Because he's putting the people on a lot of posters. You know what? When I wrote his name down, you know what I was thinking about doing? What? I was thinking about getting a subscription to Slam Magazine. Shout out to Slam Magazine. When I was younger, when I was a kid, bro, I used to love that magazine. I had a friend. I think his mom worked at like a grocery store. So when the magazines were expired by the end of the month, they had to take them off the shelves. I guess they would throw them away, to be honest. I don't know what they did with them. And he would get some. And he would basically almost get them every month. And there were times where he would have it for a little bit. And then he'd just like give it to me like, hey, man, you can look at this. You can have it if you want to. Then he started giving them to me because, you know, I liked him so much once he started showing me the first couple ones. And then if there was a particular cover I wanted or or he didn't get the magazine yet and I really wanted it. I'd go into like, you know, go in the store like Kmart or something, like bug my mom to give me like that five dollar magazine. Like, hey, this is all I want. I know you're getting groceries, but can you budget this in? Absolutely. <laughs> But yeah, they used to have some cool posters in the middle of the magazine. I'm sure they do still where it would be a two-sided poster and somebody's getting dunked on in most of those posters. So I'm sure he's making it somewhere in those magazines if he hasn't already. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah, took yeah. my fourth one. You you took, or not my fourth one. I mean, he was on my list. So but back to you, Hugh. Give me another name. Uh, four, I have 
Donovan Mitchell. Ah, man, he's on my list too. So uh, let's roll let's with that. Let's go. Anything in particular with that? Man, it's just one of them guys that I, I was just talking about, you know, that you kind of expect to uh, sit behind the arc and, and knock yeah. down threes, uh, you know, how elite of a three-point shooter he is. And then every now and then he's just like, you know what, I'm going to fool you. And, you know, he's just going to take off and drive in and just slam it down on you. So just bro, love I like watching. it, bro. His highlights, though, man, when he – like he does that, like, crisscross with his legs, like they're cross, and then they – I don't know what they do. And then he cocks the ball back. I, I love when players do that. Because it's yeah, like, like, you know, you're going to try to block it, but you got to get that timing because he's not showing you the ball and he's going to throw it down with force. It's not a rim grazer at that point, you know. So I definitely like that style of his dunk. So he doesn't even have to get up super high, but he wasn't. Uh, I think he was in a dunk contest before. So we know oh, he's got it? the hops. I didn't know that. So, yeah, I, I just like that pose. Hey, shout out to Utah Jazz fans. Again, we're not disrespecting Utah. He's on the list. He made the list. And um, shout out to Dijon the All-Star, bro. Or Dijon the All-Star is his, uh, his name on for his uh, YouTube page. Uh, upcoming rapper from Salt Lake City. He subscribed. He liked our videos. Once again, if you're not subscribed, like our videos and give us that sub. But, yeah, shout out to our boy uh, Dijon over there. Hugh, man, you taking all the good ones. Give me another name, bro. Well, I have a feeling this next guy is going to be on your list based on your outfit, but that is Russell Westbrook himself. Bro, I wanted that one. I wanted that one. <laughs> you go in on it. Go in on it then. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, I definitely agree. I felt like when I wrote that, I wrote him down first because I'm like, he's on the list. I'd put him on the forwards list if I could. But, um, yeah, he's definitely on the list. Uh, shout out to uh, OKC fans. Shout out to Washington Wizards fans, which I guess we should have been uh, Washington Wizards fans because we're, we're close to them. But uh, yeah, either or, um, I don't know if I should shout out to the Rockets fans because he was only there for one year, but he still did some triple doubles there. But yeah, those dunks, bro. I mean, that's the player I was describing earlier when he sees the rim off of a takeoff from the three-point line. Just move or just prepare to get, I mean, he's going to get, you're going to get dunked on, shouted on. You're going to get rocked. You're hey, get, he go to, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Too, too small. And then you're going to get that stank face. Like, what's that? That's what I like, man. I love that face, man. Like, just, mm, like, what is that? Yeah. It's yeah, he's going to disrespect man. you dunking on you, and then he's going to disrespect you afterwards with a celly. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those guys, if he's having a bad game from the three-point range, and he's just breaking shots, but he breaks off with that. I remember watching OKC games, and when he did that, he does that. It's just it's a rejuvenation. You forget about all those missed threes. It's just like all of a sudden you got energy, you got a spark there, and he's just gonna that momentum goes high, like sky high. You feel what he feels at that point. And that's me watching TV. So I can only imagine being there. By the way, Hugh, we need to hit up a Wizards game when when uh, COVID gets a little bit better, and uh, hopefully next season. Yeah, we had tickets to one, but it unfortunately got canceled. Yeah, we did have tickets, but that was OKC without Russell last year, remember? You said Washington. Yeah, but that was before he was on Washington as well last year, remember? Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that. So, yeah, I wouldn't have saw him either way from whatever so team perspective you look at it. Okay. We'll try. We'll go in. We got some more. We'll go in. We'll go in. Yeah. So All right, shoot, me, shoot me a name. Man, you you probably got him on your list. You probably got him on your list. I hope you got him on your list. John Moran. Absolutely got him on my list. He was next. Oh, that's right. That's right, man. This guy is, man, we got to do a PPF on this guy, bro, because I'll probably be a little bit redundant, so I don't want to do too much with talking about him. But he does remind me of that Russell Westbrook type of guy at this age slash that Derrick Rose type of guy, just quick off the dribble, real, real explosive. But I mean, his hops are insane. I think they're, I think it might be higher than theirs, man, the way it looks. And then just his knack for, I think he has a personal checkoff list of which centers he hasn't dunked on yet since he's been Bro, for real. The only thing I hope he does is bulk up a little bit so he could take some of that impact. Because some of those centers are going to be mad at him. And they might want to try to, like, swing for the block, but just something to, to pad, pad him. But, bro, every center is on the list. I'm surprised he hadn't dunked over uh, Giannis Valanciunas. 
<laughs> just to be honest. Like, hey, bro, I know hey, you're we, there, we but don't I'm know, getting this hey, put we back. Don't know what happened in practice. <laughs> I'm getting this put back. I don't care if you're in the way. You're on my <laughs> list, bro. You're the last one. I got to do it. <laughs> yeah, bro. He's like, he's like, he don't always make them, but like, you know, a couple guys, you know, he's tried to dunk over them and almost done it, but he's like, I might not make them, but you're going to know I attempted to disrespect you and dunk right on top of you. You're going to know. You're going to know I tried. <laughs> yeah, you're going to feel it. Even if you close your eyes, you're gonna feel the breeze. You're gonna catch. You're gonna catch something. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So, so hold on. Is that your? You said five, right? I said five. So I think you got one more that I don't have, obviously. Yeah, and you don't have this one. Was my no? Number I know. One. I think I know. Let me give a crack at it, bro. Of I think course I know. you know who it is. I think I know. Of course. Zach Levine. But, absolutely. What the? Where's he at, dude? I ain't Come hating on, on it, bro. I ain't you hating can't put on a, Zach Levine. You can't put I a rookie. You put, can't put a rookie over him. Yeah, I can man. He just makes it look too easy for me sometimes. I like the dunks. I like. I mean, he finesses with his dunks, but I like that more explosive looking challenge. Like, I don't know. He just makes it look so easy sometimes. That's why I put Terry Rozier on the list because I'm like that dunk looked hard against Durant, bro. Like that dunk looked like, bro. I mean, I don't know how many other people your size would be able to pull that off. Zach Levine, he just – man, if he was a four, maybe i have him there. I don't know. He just makes it look so easy, which is a good thing. I'm not hating on that, but I don't have him on my list. And plus, he that. looks like I he's always that. on fire. Like I said it before, he looks like he's that dude that eats, like, the, uh, the hot Cheetos before the game. I respect that. Yeah, I mean, I just think, you know, his ability and, you know, the dunk contest he's been in and stuff like that. So I, I had to put him on my list. Man, don't do they. Do you. That's true. You ready You ready to go to Fords? Wait a minute. Did we leave anybody off? Any honorable mentions here? I felt like I had – well, he would have been the honorable mention if you didn't have him, but I figured you had him. Um, man, I thought I had another guy. Nobody else? Oh, I know what my guy was. Shout out to DeMar DeRozan. I like his dunks because he has that that 2000s era type of dunk game. Like, because, you know, he's like mostly uh, a mid-range scorer anyway. And he looks he looked up to Kobe. He idolizes Kobe. So I, I do like him. Sorry he didn't make my cut on the list, but I want to honorable mention DeMar DeRozan. Give him credit because uh, I like his dunks. He's got some nice, nice, nice form and finesse to it. It's a very unique type of dunk that, I don't really see anybody else mimicking in the league currently. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any honorable mentions for, for guards, but I have two for the forwards that we're going to go over. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's jump in the forwards. So you want to start this thing off? I feel like our, you think our forwards would be close on the list? Actually, I, I want you to go first. Yeah. I think our forwards are going to be close. I mean, I would say I probably four of mine are probably obvious. All right, we'll, we'll wait to get to the obvious ones. Let me start off with um, – I'm going to start, like, medium and then probably dip down and go back up. I don't know. I'm going to start off with Paul George. He was the first one I wrote down. Yeah, he was not on my list, but it was, it was somebody oh. that came to mind. But, yeah, I didn't put him. Uh, I'll just Ooh. go from, from five to one like I did with the guards. But at five, I got Miles Bridges. Yeah, he's on my list. He's on my list. He was the third guy I wrote down. Like I said, I didn't do it. Well – I kind of did do these in order, to be honest. I mean, after seeing some of his dunks and what he what he's done, I had to go back and look at more of his highlight videos. I'm like, yeah, this guy is definitely throwing it down, and I can't not have him on the list. So kind of like what you did with Zach Levine, but, uh, but I don't mind Miles Bridges as much So because uh, I was filling out the Ford list. But I want to go back to Paul George. I just like his form, by the way. I just like the form. He makes it, he makes it look smooth, but he still cram, crams at home, like, like he's got that smoothness to his um, the way he cocks it back, but then he just throws it down real hard. But Miles Bridges is definitely like, I want to, I want to posterize somebody. Please, somebody get within three feet of the rim, please. <laughs> yeah, what did he? He did one what yesterday, wasn't it, or the day before? Oh Those yeah, because I remember the Charlotte. I saw the video of the Charlotte also going dumb with it, like going like crazy. The one where Cody Zeller got the rebound and like kicked it out to the three point yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, he that faked, was like yesterday. He faked the handle. And then drove yeah, that it was in like yesterday. Or something. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't remember who he dunked on. It disrespected him. 
I'm sure they remember who got dunked on. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I definitely thought about Paul George. He didn't even make my uh, honorable mentions list, but yeah, I mean, he's he's slick with it. But I mean, uh, I thought Kawhi too. Uh, he didn't make my my list or my honorable mention list, but yeah, he's another one that that can throw it down uh, when he wants. I'm to. not big on a lot of Kawhi Leonard dunks. Well, I like I when mean, he just takes the ball. They're kind of unexpected just... for me, but yeah, yeah, you might be shocked to somebody else who didn't make my list as well. But let me give you another name. John Collins. I put John Collins on my list. Do you believe that? He's my one of my honorable mentions. Wow, wow. I'm glad you gave him a shout out as well. I just like the way I don't know. I think it's his frame because he's pretty tall and he's kind of lanky, but not too lanky. So I just like the way he looks in the air. And he does get some hang time for real though, bro. So I like it. I like it because sometimes he just cuts the rim and he can catch a lob real easy or just like the way he flushes it. It's not like a traditional big man, but it makes me think like he is a big man. I mean, he plays the power forward position, but he kind of throws it down sometimes like like a small forward, like a slasher. I respect that. I respect that. So yeah, my my oh, my four. Uh, I was about to say, give me somebody on your list that hopefully is not on my list. But yeah, let's see what you got, dude. I have a hard time thinking. None of these next ones. None of the rest are going to be on your list, to be honest. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Well, no, because somebody okay. has to be because I didn't have him. So let's I don't see. Know. I'm Let assuming you have. I'm assuming you have this guy. I feel like you can't talk about dunks without not having this guy on there. I mean, I never remember a more hyped up player coming into the league, but I have Zion oh, Williamson, bro, at, at four, bro. Unless I slip up, you need to call me out on this. You know, I have him on my list. He went to do. Well, I figured. Oh man, come on. You know what? I'm going to give a shout out already for honorable mention, um, RJ Bear, just because I feel like I haven't even talked about him. And I will, I hey, know, hey, that's a bunch of dunks, but huh? let me tell the viewer, let me tell the viewer song. Let me tell the viewer song. Hey, okay. this dude was in love with Zion. I mean, obvious, for obvious reason, being a Duke fan when he went to Duke. And let me tell you this UVA, my team, Duke, his team. Oh, played. no, hey. DeAndre, no, hold, we, hold on, wait hold a minute. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let hold me on here. No, no, no. Hold on. We, don't go too detailed. We got to save this for an episode where we do like, what is it called? It's not like a Q and A, but it's kind of like not a tell all either. But it's you know what I mean, like get to know the yeah. co-host of the show. Yeah, and I'll say it again, Nick. All right, all right, go ahead, go ahead. But no, go this ahead. dude. I'll yeah, let you UVA, have this one. UVA and Duke playing, and we're we're at D's house. We're in his basement on his big screen TV watching to eat. I think I was eating some beat ups, and yeah, we was just chilling. And uh, yeah, DeAndre Hunter in the corner. Uh, he kicked it out to him, wide open three. He pulls up. And Zion comes out of nowhere from basically right under the rim and just jumps and swats that uh, swats that shot probably into the middle section of the bleachers. And D has not – I have not lived that block down to this day. It is something that he's brought up to me probably 20, 25 times, uh, just that single individual play. So, yeah, when I say D is a big Zion fan, uh, I mean that, but yeah, so I, that's why I figured, I figured he'd be on your list. I just felt like bringing that up because I still hear about that to this day when we talk about that season in college basketball and how you say we wouldn't have won if we didn't have to go, we, cause we didn't have to go through y'all. So yeah, we can argue yeah, about this another day, there's, but yeah. There's a lot to that. If y'all want to know more, leave it in the comments and then, you know, maybe we'll do a video on like reminiscing on times of basketball before the podcast. But um, yeah, I mean, I'll give y'all credit since you gave me credit. Yeah, y'all did win the national title in 2019. Um, but that team, shout out to DeAndre Hunter, because without you, that block couldn't have been possible. Hey, 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 shout out Ty Jerome. Y'all starting point guard right now with Shea out and that boy balling. Yeah, man, yeah, shout out, yeah, shout out to UVA. Um, you know, I'm not a UVA basketball fan, but I mean, not to get into much of a backstory, I was supposed to transfer to UVA, so... I'm not hating on UVA. I like UVA as a school, but I'll give you that, Hubert. I'll give you that. By the way, just to remind everybody, this is, I want to make sure I get it right, Limb Loss Awareness Month. So in recognition of that, uh, if you wear orange, that would support uh, people of that community. And I do have a little bit of orange on since this is an OKC jersey. Check that out. Um, of course, my wall is orange all the time. So Limb Loss Awareness all the time. Uh, but yeah, shout out to uh, those people there. And if you want to donate, you can donate at www.limbsforlife.org. Quick plug. Let's go back into it, Hubert. All right. But yeah, I, I feel like you don't, we don't need to say too much about Zion. I feel like anybody who watches basketball knows his ability and 
you know, what he's able to do. So I'll probably just skip but do over. do you like him. the way he dunks? I mean, you don't have to just put him on a list because people talk about him. Do you like them? I mean, yeah, I want to see him I, break the backboard, bro. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, that point, he's just, he should, I kind of get surprised because this is, I don't mean this any disrespect, uh, any way disrespectful or anything, but I mean, he just, he looks kind of thick. But I mean, thick? I mean, he can get up. Like that boy can. I love getting him, watching him, because he's a little undersized, like when he's uh, going against, uh, like, got centers on him and stuff. So he's just like, he'll like jump, like, or not jump, but like fake like he's going up and get the center up, center to go up, and then he'll just like go right up after and just dunk and hang on the rim there for a second. I think it's hard. Bro, bro. Yeah. I mean, he's just, he's just strong and power. He's a natural, bro. He's just <laughs> supernatural. That's that's why you're like, man, he's thick, he gets up, and he's undersized for his position. But, bro, I remember watching um, that preseason game that he had. I, I don't know if that's marked that as, as his official NBA dunk for the league. I mean, it doesn't count as a, a career point because it's preseason. But um, not preseason. What is that called? It's called, like, when they do the summer league. And I don't know. I'm sure you've seen the highlight when they were playing the New York Knicks. And um, what was it? Uh, Kevin Knox got the uh, rebound or something like that. I can't remember the sequence. Anyway, he had the ball and Zion just ripped it out of his hands and just flushed it two hands. I know you've seen it, Hugh. Yeah. Like that was like, yeah, he just hey, took man, it right you've out. been in the yeah. league for a couple of years now and Zion just did that to you. Uh oh. Like, bro, he ain't scared to do it. He ain't scared to do it. So, <laughs> yeah, man. Definitely. Who you got next? I'm still stuck on Zion, bro. My eyes are like seeing the stars, bro. Because you just asked me, hey, yeah, look at our channel because, you know, we have a shoe segment there and I'm planning on copying his first pair of shoes and um, as far as his actual signature shoe for the Jordan line, if I can get it, I'm going to try to get it and I'll do like an unboxing of those. All right. You just asked me about it. So I just just figured I'd shut it up. Yeah, I think. Yeah, shout out Zion. But uh, who you got next? Oh, you want me to go? Whoa, how many more names do you have on your list outside of the honorable mentions? Three. I only have one more left. Oh, well, let, me, least... let me go. You Okay, you must not have this guy, man. This next guy. Bro, I already have one more on my list. And if you're yeah, like, man, so... I don't think you have any of these guys, I want to see who you're talking about. No, 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 no. You, you're gonna have, you're gonna have one guy. Actually, I know who your last one will be. I definitely know who your last one will be. Okay, well, you don't say it. I'll say it as my last one. But you give okay. me your two, then. You okay. Give me your two. Yeah. Well, my next one, uh, my third one is uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yep, I uh, purposely did not put him on the list. I thought about him, and I don't know. I don't mind him dunking. I just not a fan of that style of dunk. I guess. I don't I mean, know. I just love how he does it. It just looks so so easy i mean he's so tall and so lengthy and it's i mean but he's dominant with it like he's dominant of course that makes him a very unique player i mean he's he's great at what he does i mean don't take away you know uh part of your game just because other people can't do it that's what makes you unique and special um yeah i'm just not a huge fan of seeing that on tv but you know what i would like to see that in person though because of that length like you said just it makes it look easy i would like to see it in person but as far as tuning in for it on TV, yeah, it's effective down the stretch, but it's not something that usually gets me out of my seat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with the honest, you know, it's not more, it's not, you know, with me, it's not about the flash. It's just about how dominant uh, he is about doing it. I mean, yeah, with the honest, you know, you get more hype over a, a three pointer uh, that he makes than a dunk because, you know, there's nothing usually really flashy with his dunks, but it's just his consistency doing it and how he can just always seem to get, uh, to the rim one way or another and yeah it's just it's just his dominance uh in the paint you know not, uh not technically being a center but uh you know just how lengthy and dominant you know back-to-back mvp uh just it's just more or less the uh consistency and ease at which he does it with why he's uh, I do like his list. sidestep euro dunk like not yeah. where he's coming down the lane in euro into the dunk but like if he's coming at an off angle from like the wing and he euros into the dunk and then it's like a reverse looking. I do like the way that looks like it's off handed. Yeah. yeah. And just his length. I mean, I think it's cool when he just like drives in and just does that, like just one handed flush. And it, it's look, like, to me, it like looks like he doesn't even like really leave the floor. Like he has so much length. I will tell you, I would be more excited if he added one other element to his game. 
uh, when he does that. I mean, and it wouldn't be effective. It'd just be for Flash. I guess I like the Flash. If he just windmills it more, like that'd be cool. Like he comes in and then he just because you would see that full extension of the length of his arm. Like I'd be like, oh my gosh! But it's a. Uh, it's like he. It's like he watched is this podcast and he's like you know what you know I'm, I'm gonna do it next game goes and does it and like first try like tears his rotator cuff in his shoulder oh <laughs> something, bro why would something you say like that, that? <laughs> sorry to the Milwaukee he's, he's like talking to the, he's like talking to the media he's like kish <laughs> no. Z. Z. <laughs> no no i must say kish Z Q because he, he called it you're a terrible sports jinx oh my gosh bro <laughs> Yeah. All anyway, right, so. I hope that doesn't happen. Like I said, when we recorded yesterday's podcast, Jamal Murray's accident happened. So please, no accidents during this podcast. <laughs> yeah, and then so I think you have the guy who's number two on my list. So I'm gonna skip to we'll one. Skip over him. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I'm you. gonna go to one. I mean, this might be the guy though, but I, I have a hard time thinking you go pass this guy. Up. But but yeah, I'm gonna skip around. I'm gonna go to one, and I got Aaron Gordon. No. No, oh, okay, okay. So I definitely 100% know who who your last one is. No, uh, Aaron Gordon. I don't think he's done. I don't even. I don't even see no highlights of him dunking since he's been with Denver. So I don't know if that's something he's doing as much there. But yeah, I mean, just him with the, uh, you know, with Orlando. That's just what he was known for. You know, been in dunk contest and uh, yeah, just a just overall a great dunker in my opinion. So that's just. I don't he's know too great. much. Like I never really watch Orlando much, or you know, I still don't really watch Denver too much. But so, but obviously, I know who he is from the dunk contest, and I think that's probably what he's known for most. So I just had to include him on this list. All right, all right, you ready for it, bro? Yeah, shout out to Aaron Gordon. Shout I know who it is. Sorry for your loss. Hey, give me a drum roll then. Yeah, make well, it there, hype. there is no. Give... Make it hype. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Are you ready? It's Michael Porter Jr., bro. Hey, say something so that people can see your reaction. <laughs> that is not who I anticipated. I'll tell you that real quick, bro. Michael Porter Jr., bro. I have him on my list as an honorable mention. Yeah, shout out. He did not make the cut. <laughs> bro, what the hell are you doing, <laughs> He man? did not make the cut, but... Yeah, uh, shout out to Michael Porter Jr., another guy with the length. I like his length. Um, yeah, he could slam it down here and there. I, I wanted to shot him out, but I just wanted to throw that in there in that segment. But, Wiggins, yeah. Wiggins can throw it down every now and then. Is he on your list? Exactly. Say something so you, the people know what your reaction Really? <laughs> I mean, you wanted to go there. Michael Porter Jr. don't throw it down that freaking much. Oh, he doesn't get off camera now. Looks like it's just me now. I don't, I don't really know what to – this has never happened in an episode. I don't really know what to, what to do <laughs> what to do without deer. Hey, let me say my, my honorable mention then. Uh, okay. My other one, since you just did yours. Uh, Derek, Jones, Derek Jones Jr. Oh, and the Trailblazers. Uh, you know, it's a guy who can definitely uh, throw it down when he wants. So, yeah, you know, he didn't make the cut, but uh, he's one of my two honorable mentions along with John Collins. That's respectable. I like that. Yeah. Now go ahead, bro. I mean, we already know who it is. So come on. <laughs> we already know. No, they don't know. You know. No. You want me to do, uh, they, do I mean, it's LeBron. It's LeBron. You had I mean, him on your God. list. I mean, he's <laughs> you had him on your list. list. Yeah. All right. Why did you have him on your list? I mean, bro, what's better than seeing what you talked about earlier? Fast break. They just give it to LeBron. He just goes down, jams it. You know his iconic picture. Uh, you know, with D Wade, you know, doing that while LeBron's slamming it home. I mean, man, it's it's nothing. That's probably my favorite thing to watch from LeBron. Out of all the the greatness that he does, uh, all the great things he can do, basically everything. But I mean, it's just the the dunks, man. He does it with ease, and, but they're so graceful, but yet they're so powerful. And he like never just you know takes a dunk easy. I mean, he always slams it down. You know, you don't see LeBron. Oh, I could yeah. be wrong, but I don't think you see him doing you know a lot of posters. A lot of it's I think fast break and you know, cutting to the rim and, and stuff along the lines of that. But the yeah, posters I mean, I came early in his him. career, bro. He he posterized some bigs, you know, Kevin Garnett. He used to go up to those those big guys, Tim Duncan. He he used to posterize. I mean, back when he played in Miami, he he jumped over a dude. Have you seen that video? I don't think so. I'm sure I had been LeBron. I'm sure yeah, I've seen they were before, they but... were lobbing it up. 
and the guard was kind of like bent over. He's like, oh, at him, yeah, and yeah, 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 jumped. yeah. Went right over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I have seen that. Yeah, but in more modern sense, yeah, his baseline dunks are nasty. What I'm starting to like now is like because he doesn't get up as high as he used to. So if you watched yeah. him before, you kind of know the difference because he used to get up really high. But um, like when he comes in the lane sometimes now, and I'm thinking like, you know, he's older LeBron. He's just going to go in for like a layup because he does his layups real close to the rim in the backboard. So it, it's hard to block off the window because it's basically touching the glass. And he comes in and all of a sudden it's just like he cocks his hand and it slams in. Like those are unexpected completely because I'm like, even for him, I'm like, that's just a layup. Or I think there was one time last year when he came in and he like double clutched it in the air to get the dunk. I'm like, what? Yeah. He's still doing that? Like, that's shocking because, yeah, it's easy for him to dunk, but to, like, dunk it in traffic like that. So it's not necessarily, like you're saying, posterization, but it's still dunking in traffic where there's other people around and flushing at home when you know that he's kind of crafty around the rim now where he can easily do the layups. And a lot of times you see him drive in and do that back-to-the-basket spin around the defender to get to the opposite yeah. side of the glass for a layup. But, yeah, so his dunks are kind of unexpected. But when you talk about – the lobs he does some lobs but the fast breaks give it to lebron yeah throw it off the glass whatever man the dude's catching it now yeah yeah i mean you know you know me i mean i'm not going to say lebron isn't great probably i mean by far the greatest uh basketball player i've ever seen in my generation you know with me watching but you know i'm not a lebron i don't i don't want to say fan because i mean it's hard not to be a fan of him but i'm not you know one of those people that's lebron this lebron that but I mean, still, I mean, I'm not going to – that's, like I said, it's probably my favorite thing to watch, for like a LeBron fast break, because you did, you know what's coming. I mean, and, you know, if you're in Staples Center when he's doing it at home, I mean, every person that, you know, in there is, is standing when they get – when they have fans there. So, I mean, it's just extremely exciting. and just pumps up the team, pumps up the crowd. But, but yeah, I mean, shout out LeBron. Shout out to I got AD. a few more honorable AD, AD was even one I, I, I consider putting on my – Put him on there. Nah. All right. Missed too much time for me this year. That's I forgot just about it. But, I mean, he's still playing. He's so relevant. So, you know, you can put him on there. You know we'll what? see when he comes back. I had another honorable mention. I did. I forgot to write him down because I thought about putting him on the list, and I didn't, and I forgot him about honorable mention. Damian Lillard, he's not a bad dunker himself. Like, he can get in there, and, like, all of a sudden, he just does a dunk, and it gets people riled up. You know, it's energizing. It might not be super flashy, but it's like one of those one-handed, you know, sometimes he, like, comes into it. And he pulls it off. I do like those dunks. Uh, yeah, also, yeah. shout out to Chris Paul and uh, your boy Steph. For for what purpose? Dunking the basketball. What does Curry have? Like three career dunks? I'm talking about the All Star game. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. When they both they both caught a lob. I mean, it's rare you see those guys. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, do you remember last year in the All-Star game when uh, Giannis had it and was just driving down the court and Curry was the only person in front of him and Curry just laid down on the floor? Yeah, was that last year, like two years ago? Uh, was it two years ago? I thought it was last year, but it might have been the year before. It but might yeah, have been last year. Is, for some reason, you just bring up Curry and dunks, and it just reminded me of that when he just laid down and got out of Giannis's way. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, Curry can get up when he wants. Uh, sometimes I remember when he missed one. Uh, don't and I think it bounced off the front of the rim, like you talked about earlier. But yeah, he don't try him too often. But when he does, I think he, I think he has a pretty good uh, chance of making it when he decides to try. It, when he's feeling himself enough, you know, he probably should have tried one last night. Hey, that would have been a hell of a way to pass. <laughs> oh gosh, no, Hugh, we just went it. over that. We just went over that in the D day. Like, please, <laughs> Steph Curry, do not. Hugh wants to see these players get hurt. Do not do any more <laughs> attempts unless maybe they're warm-ups or in practice. Do not do any during the game, please. You might not survive this season. <laughs> you might be <laughs> sidelined. Uh, once again, please don't listen to Hugh. Um, Hugh, give me a bonus sound effect. A what? A bonus sound effect. What do you mean sound effect? I mean sound effect, like something that's a sound effect, the effect of a sound that sounds different. Cha-ching. All right, that's that's the, the cue right there. We got a bonus <laughs> feature, feature in here. We're going to do bigs, two bigs, you know, keep it short and simple, and bigs uh, pertaining to the center position. 
Um, did you have Jokic on this list? I do not have Jokic on this list. Good call. Let's say who you have on your list. Let me give my two first and see if they have a, if we have an overlap. Like I said, it's just two mm-hmm. names, but yep. I have Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns. I have Joel Embiid and Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, so let's go Rudy Gobert versus Joel Embiid. I mean, I ain't got much, too much to say about it. I mean, they're, they're centers. I mean, they can easily dunk it. I just think, you know, uh, Gobert dunks it, you know, he just kind of throws it down. I think when Embiid uh, decides to do it, he just has a little more flash. I think he – He might have more flash, but I think I like Gobert's lob catches, his hands, bro. Hands are great. And he just – he ain't going to dunk it down easy either. He's going to, like – it's usually two hands, you know, secure the ball, put it in the hole, let's go. Grab a rebound, put it in the hole, let's go. I will Once say again, that, uh, shout out to the Utah Jazz again. We're not leaving y'all off any list anymore, even if it's the bad, the the worst players in the league list. I'm sure we can find a player to put y'all on that map too. Yeah, and hey, I will say Carl Anthony uh, definitely made mine just from the sole purpose of his third down on uh, Joel Embiid, on Embiid uh, like yes. last week or the week yes. before. I did manage to put that on my Instagram story without messing that up. <laughs> I, I had mentioned that this is what I need to see from Carl Anthony Towns on a consistent basis. Not necessarily that dunk, but I need to see him perform at this level of intensity on a game to game basis. Like his matchups with Embiid are one of those things you're going to look back on if this continues. Like you look back on like a Chuck and Shaq type of thing. Like, you know, these guys go head to head when they're in games. It's kind of personal in their matchups. So I, I do like that. But I want to see that intensity more often as well against other players. But, yeah, that was an awesome dunk. He had it out well, for him. He just had it in his eyes. Well, you remember, like, last year, they that's when they had that bad fight and all that. So, yeah, he probably still was thinking about that a little bit. Yeah, I think they had that bad fight last year, and then they made up this year with that dunk. He was like, you know, <laughs> he made stepbrothers. Up. They were like stepbrothers. He dunked the, the ball. He's like, <laughs> Joel and B looked at him. Did we just become best friends? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like you see him, you see him posting pics on IG together now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, you remember this? It's like Dwayne Wade and LeBron and stuff. For you're riding my back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. But yeah, yeah, good, good. Uh, yeah, I think we, you know, we agree with each other for the most part. We had a couple of people uh, each that we didn't, uh, the other didn't have, but I think for the most part, you know, it's. You know, when you think of dunkers, I mean, it, you you know, you got a solid uh, group of guys that most people think about. And, you know, then a couple people are, are different, obviously, for every person. But, yeah, I think for the most part, you know, it's pretty obvious list at some points. But, yeah, hopefully we, uh, you know, gave you a list. There's some things when to I think, think about, dunkers, and, you know, for appreciate. I think, of, I think of two things when I think of dunkers, Hugh. Let's hear it. Two things, two things. Oreos and Nuggets. Bro, I was thinking of Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, for real, though? Yeah. Coffee from there sounds smack right now. I ain't even going to cap. Oh, well, catch us on our next episode for Kish Debate. Dunkin' Donuts versus Starbucks. Oh, uh, 100. Uh, yeah, don't bring that up. Oh, we might have to hey, go in on this. Hey, hey, look at this shirt. Look at this shirt. That's all I got to say. Everybody supports the troops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We ain't gonna get into this. <laughs> we ain't gonna get into, into this right now. <laughs> we don't talk about children. We don't talk about political figures. We don't talk about religion. Let's go on. Donuts. Yeah, they can We're gonna go talk about donuts pool. though. Starbucks versus Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> 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 Real quick, shout out to all the coffee makers. Shout out to the small yeah. town coffee makers. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. We have a, a, a place around here called Micah's Coffee. Shout out to them. Uh, shout out to wherever you get your coffee from. Shout out to your, your kitchen. Shout out to your wives for making the coffee if she makes the coffees. Uh, shout out to the moms that make the coffee. Shout out to the dads that make the coffee. Shout out to anybody who's grinding coffee. So, D, at, at this point, how about you just shout out probably 50% of America who drinks coffee? Why can't we shout, shout out, out the 50% baristas of America? At the hey, coffee? 50% of America. This is a shout out to y'all. Look, 
I had just recently started drinking coffee. Probably over 50% drink coffee, to be honest. It's about like, like I literally just started drinking drink coffee, coffee this year, bro. Yeah, and it's good, If you want to count out. frappuccinos as a, a form of coffee, I started drinking those like two years ago. Like 2019, bro, you done went like maybe 18. 30 years. You done went like 30 years without drinking coffee. You feel like you wasted time? Yeah, I said like 30. <laughs> of drinking coffee? Yeah, well, you didn't drink coffee. You feel like, man, I could have been breath. drinking coffee for 30 years. Well, I mean, you already breath. stopped. You already stopped, bro. I don't know. I, I like will, to keep hey, I will, hey, I will, hey, I, I will hype myself up. I will let the viewers know that I'm actually taller than D. Yeah. So, like, when we're on the court, like, I just, I just, yeah, you know, block his shots constantly, you know. Okay, he's making this into a personal thing. We're going to have to have another debate. Uh, yeah, he wants to try to block my shot. Ask him what happened to his head when it meant the ball. Man, I was guarding him, and this dude just threw the ball against my head. <laughs> that was the most disrespectful thing that's ever happened to me playing ball, to be honest. We're supposed to be boys. We're not to teams. This boy just went, boom, right against my head, and it bounced right back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the assist, you. I told you I was going to do that to you. Too. I, I <laughs> yeah. called it at work when you were talking trash. So, but anyway, anyway, yeah. Catch us on our next next debate: uh, Dunkin' Donuts versus Starbucks. And once again, thank you, thank you for kicking it in the second half, Kish YZ. Um, we'd like to give a shout out to all our subscribers. And you know, we're always looking for more. So if you're watching the video, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and give us a subscribe. Uh, subscribe if you want to keep up on our videos and our latest drops and turn the notification bell on for that and catch us on anchor.fm google podcast pocket cast and spotify for the audio only versions of our podcast under kish yz and hit us up on twitter and instagram for uh any follows under kish yz k-i-s-h underscore yz and of course here on youtube kish yz hubert yeah, yeah, you know, I don't know, uh, you know, all you, all the listeners, I don't know what kind of music y'all listen to, but I listened to my boy Lil TJ, and he just dropped that album last week or the week before, but he had his probably most popular song on there, it's called Run It Up, so yeah, I'm just bringing that up, because that's what y'all should do to our, our sub count, y'all should run that number up a little bit, we would certainly appreciate it, uh, you know, we appreciate all the support we already get, but yeah, you know, the more subs, you know, the more content we'll put out for y'all, you know, leave a comment, if there's something specific, uh, y'all want, y'all want us to, uh, you know, talk about or, or do an episode on, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you like the video, you know, like the video. If you, uh, you know, you want to see more, if you really like it, uh, you know, uh, give me a sub. Like I said, no tomatoes, not a fan of veggies. Uh, you don't yeah. like the veggies. Yeah, appreciate it. Turn your, notif turn your notification bell on. Like you said, you know, um, you know, get notifications when uh, videos come. You can be first to comment, first to like, first to watch. But yeah, shout out all y'all. Yeah, bro. Hey, I like that. I like that finish there. That was hard. I give it that Russell Westbrook. That what's that smell, bro? What's that smell? Hey, and also, uh, yeah, yeah, shout out to our boy Jeff because you mentioned little TJ and he gave him the moniker uh, "Fake Usher." Man, TJ's probably man. Make a uh, man. I know it's a basketball podcast. We need to make a rap episode, man, and we go go under the underappreciated one. And TJ probably could be my first because, man, I'm the only one at work that messes with it. The only one, man. That boy is amazing. Let me let the viewers head. know. Um, you know, we'll get into this later on when we do, like, our episode as far as getting to know the host. Um, I want to let y'all know, Hugh over here, he's not a rapper. He's a trapper. A fur trapper. Dave a <laughs> Hey, and I'll go ahead and say it. Never mind. I better. I'll 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 save that for another episode. Save it for later. Thank you for kicking in the second half, Kish Y Z. Peace and love. <laughs>